Your assignments often require you to locate articles from peer-reviewed journals. Some databases, like this example, include an option to limit your search results to only articles from peer-reviewed journals. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find out if the journal is peer-reviewed when databases don't have this option. This is helpful for databases like PubMed uh, and Google Scholar, and there are some others as well. So in PubMed, after you've found an article that sounds interesting, you're going to look for the title of the journal, not the article title here, but the title of the journal. And in PubMed, that's located here above the article title. PubMed uses journal abbreviations. Um, that's okay because most of the time, uh, the two different methods I'm gonna show you for finding out if a journal is peer reviewed will recognize that abbreviation. If you happen to be interested in or need to know the full title, if you hover over, it'll give you a little pop-up box that gives you the full title of the journal. So I'm just gonna copy that abbreviation and then I'm going to go to the library homepage, and instead of the discovery search that's the default, I'm going to click on eJournals. That lets me look up the title of journals to see if we have electronic access to them. Um, another side benefit of that is it will tell us if that journal is peer reviewed. So I'm going to paste in that abbreviation and hit search, and it will come up with the Journal of the American Psychiatric Nurses Association. And right here, it tells me that it is peer reviewed. If it is not peer reviewed, if it weren't peer reviewed, it just wouldn't have anything here. It would just say journal um, and not have anything to indicate that it's peer reviewed or not. If the journal doesn't come up, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not peer reviewed. It just means that we don't have electronic access. So then you have to go to method two to find out if it is peer reviewed. So I'm going to go back to the library's homepage, and this time I'm going to choose the databases option. And I'm going to search for a database called Ulrichs. Uh, that's U-L-R-I-C-H apostrophe S. And this is a database Old Works Web that is a periodicals directory that lists all periodicals, journals, other things that are printed anywhere in the world. Again, I can paste my journal abbreviation into that and said most of the time it will work and come up with uh, the title of the journal. In this case, it actually moved the word journal. Um, it's the American Psychiatric Nurses Association Journal rather than the Journal of the American Psychiatric Nurses Association. But I did double check to make sure that the publisher's the same, this is the same journal. Uh, so in this database, we're looking for this black and white referee shirt um, because refereed, as the pop-up says here, um, refereed is another term for peer reviewed. So if it has that referee shirt, then again, uh, research articles that are found in this journal should be peer reviewed. And just to note, you don't have to look both places. I'm just showing you both methods for this video. You can use one or the other. And as long as the journal title shows up, you can just stop there. If you have any questions, please reach out to me.